All right. Oh, good morning, gentlemen. Uh, today is Daf Kuf Gimel. For those of you who have to leave early, uh, if you can't wait around like 13 minutes, um, we the plan is to get to, I think there's a Gufa on Kuf Dalet Amad Aleph, which is like 10 lines down. But uh, once again, the Sugya moves. Gishmaka Sugya, Arvip Sakham. So we left off at the, at the uh, Kuf Bays, Amad Bays, at two lines from the bottom, at the two dots. Gufa. Yom Tov Shechal Yisach or Shabbos. So he mentioned this yesterday. Yom Tov falls out on Shabbos. I it's a, so it's a, I think like this this year Pesach, right? So it's Shabbos, and then on Sunday Saturday night is ready. Lil Yom Tov Sunday is Yom Tov, right? So it's a two day or three day, right? So Rav Omar Yakna Yakna, right? Actually, this this is a little different because this is not talking about Zman, so it's Shvi Shal Pesach, right? So it says, so Rav says, you say, Yayin Kiddush Ne'er Havdalah, right? We're, we're taking out the Zman right now because we're assume, or now we're assuming. So we'd be talking about uh, Shvi Shal Pesach because that is the only Yontif that does not have the bracha of Shech Yonu, right? Zman is Shech Yonu. So you say, you make the bracha of Yayin, right? Berei Piyag Gofen. Kiddush is your, you make Kiddush on uh, the Friday night Kiddush. Ne'er is Eish, you know, very very Eish, because we always say it on Motzei Shabbos, right? It's part of Havdalah, and uh, Hey is Havdalah, right? The Havdalah, uh, basically the bracha of Mavdil, uh, uh, the bracha of Mavdil. So he says that we're going to have, I think, eight sheetas. So Rav Omar, and the, we're not going to explain them all. Don't worry. So he says Yakna, Ushmol Amar, Yain Ner Havdalah Kiddush, right? We're just talking about the order here, right? So that was Rav says Yakna. Shmuel Omar Yanhi Yanhak, turn the top of the page. Rab Omar Yehanak, right? Yayin Havdola near Kiddush. Levi Omar Kniya Kiddush near Yayin and Havdola. But Rabban Omar Kina Marbre the Rav Omar Nikia Marta Marshmei the Rav Yeshua Nihak. So that was different shitas. Fine. Shalach leAvu the Shmuel the Rebbe. So he says, so they sent Avu, the father of Shmuel, to Rabbi Yamadena Rabbeinu, Seder Havdalah's Heich, uh, Heich. So tell us how to go ahead and say Havdalah, right? What is it once and for all? So Shalach Lei, Kachama Rabbi Yishmael, but Rabbi Yaisi, Shamra Mishum Avi, Shamra Mishum Rabbi Yishub Ben Chananya. This is what I said, I'll quote the name of Rabbi Yishub Ben Ner Havdalah Yayin Kirish. Shamra Rechanina, Mashal, the Rabbi Yishub Ben Chananya, so what's, what's this comparable to? Why you say Free start with Ner, right? The uh, Eish, right? Which we only say on Matzi Shabbos, and then Havdala, and then you do Yain and Kiddush, right? Why is that? So it's comparable. Lamel Shiyotze, but because Nichnas, Vaparkus Nichnas, right? A king is going out, the king is the highest, right? The king is leaving, and a duke, right? The second in command is coming in. So Malavin is a Melech, Vyacharach Yates in the Kras Aparkus, right? So first, you, you walk out, you escort the king out, the king is the highest. Uh, Shabbos, you escort the Shabbos out first. Right, and then you go ahead and you uh, welcome the duke. Right, so you welcome the second in command. Right, so you just so so too Shabbos you do first. Right, you do your malavet out. You do the havdala. You do the ner, and then you bring in the Shabbos and you make kiddush. So my havdala. So no, what's maskanas? Abay Omar, yak zana. So Abay says yak zana. Yain kiddush zman. We're we're going to throw talk about it a regular yantip ner havdala. Ve'rav Omar yak nahaz. The hilk is like a rub and the luck is like a rub, uh, like rubber, which is what we do. You know, I forgot to go ahead and get a sitter for today. Hold, hold, all right. That's right. All right. We don't need a sitter. So, uh, so the, the halach is like rubber, right? The luck is like rubber, who says, uh, yak nahaz, which is the halach that we do nowadays, right? When you, if you notice, right, when you have Shabbos into Yantif, you do this order, right? Yayin, first, may break a goffin, then you make kiddish, right? For the, for the, um, uh, then you make the Kiddush, uh, then you do Ner, right? Then you make the Bracha on Eish, right? Then you do Havdala, right? Then you do Hamavdil, and then at the end, you end up with Shachiyan. And Rav Huna Bar Rav Huna Bar Yehuda, one time, Rav Huna Bar Yehuda was up by in the house of Rav Huna. I used to come in Ma'or Basamim, they brought out before him Ma'or and Basamim, right? So this is a regular uh, uh, Motzi Shabbos where you have Basamim, because we don't have Basamim on when it's Leil Yontav. So they brought out a candle and Basamim, so Baruch Rabbah Besamim Bereisha Bahadur Amor. First, he made a bracha on the Besamim, right, which is what we do, and then afterwards he made a bracha on the on the fire. So I'm like, I have been based Shama Bein based Hilo Amor Bereisha Bahadur Besamim. What are you doing, right? The, both even based based Shama based Hilo, both even both of them agree that you always do the fire first. 
and then the, the, the bracha of, uh, on, on the Eish, and then you make the bracha on the Besamim. Umayhi, and where do we see this, this between Beis and Beis So, um, Umayhi, the time we learned in the Mishnah, Beis Shammai, I mean, near Umazon Besamim Havdalah. So Beis Shammai says, when it comes, we're talking about Motei Shabbos, the person has to bench, and he's benching, and he's benching into Havdalah, and therefore he does it all together. So he says the bracha of Ner, then Mazan, then he makes the benching, right? Then Besamim, and then Havdalah. Right, so both of them say ner in the beginning and then have at the end, and they just question it. Do you say Muslim? Or, but both of them agree that ner comes first, right? Ner is before besam, and you made besam before ner. So on a rav basri, so rav answer says avamar lo, avamar, and he says no. Zod mayor. That understanding of the machlokes between Beis Hill and Beis Shammai is only lafi rav mayor. There's actually machlokes what Beis Hill and Beis Shammai were arguing about. Both agree that first you do the benching. And they both agree, Beishel and Beishel both agree that the Havdala, Hamadol, Ben Kodesh, the Chol is done at the end. Just the order of which you do first, the Samim or Eish, right? Which one do you do first? says, first you do the Maor. First, you do it on the fire, and then you do the besamim. Beisel oimrim besamim vechagak more. And the beisel says, "No, first the besamim, and then afterwards the more. First the um, the what's it called? Right, you make besamim. And then afterwards more, which is what he did." And Rabbi Yochanan says the, the the people are knowing the halach is like Beis Hillel according to Rabbi Huda, which would be the which which the way he did, which is what we do. Also, first you do the besamim, and then you do esh. Fine. Two dots. Uh, Rabbi Yaakov, we're around uh, two thirds of the way down. So Rabbi Yaakov bar Abba Ikla lebe Rav. He was by the house of Rav. Chosid the baruch bari pi agafen akosid kama. So he saw that he made a bracha in the beginning on Kiddush. The hadar baruch akosid the berchasa, and then afterwards he made another bracha on the coast of benching. The ish didn't drink. So I'm late. Lama lecha kuli hai. Why did you make a bracha? Right, 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 in the beginning of the meal, and then he made a, uh, they, 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 then they benched a la coast. Uh, why'd you make a bracha then? You already made a bracha, so why didn't the bray bray from the beginning of the meal cover the 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 coast shell bracha for benching? So, because well, why? Because when I was by the house of Rish Galusa, this is what we did. In other words, they made a bracha on Kiddush, and then when they were benching and they had another cup of wine, they also made a bracha of Rebbe Agafen at the end of benching. So I'm relate. Tinach bei Reish Galusa, Dachi Avid. Makes sense that then the house of Reish Galusa, that's why they did. Why? The Savik Maesilan, Savik Lo Maesilan. In other words, when you're a guest, you don't know whether they're going to bring out another cup of wine. So therefore, in the beginning, you had no idea. You thought maybe this is the only cup of wine. So therefore, you didn't have in mind that you're going to have another cup of wine. And then when they brought another cup of wine for benching, so you had to make a new bracha because you didn't have that initial thought. However, hacha, but here in your house, haman chasa kaman v'daytan alav. Over here, you, you you know there's a cup coming out, right? So when you made the kiddush, the brei pri agafen, you sort of had in mind that you were going to have a kos at the end. So I'm like, ana abdi can tell me to the rab. No, I hold like a tell me to rab. And what, what do they what do they say? The rab beruna, the rab chanano, tell me to the rab havi yasi besudasa, rab beruna and rab chanano with the tell me to the rab, and they were sitting in a suda. And then what happened? Turn the page. Kayaleo Rav Yaba Saba, right? And then Rav Yaba Saba was, I guess, he was serving them. So Amr Lay. Um, so yeah, Amr Lay, I guess, right? They said to him, Havlan the Nivarich. Bring us out a cup. We're gonna go ahead and bench, right? The meal's over. Bring us out a cup. We're gonna go bench, Mr. Uh, Rav Yaba Saba. The soap in the end, ultimately, Amr Lay, Havlan Venishti. You know what? <clears throat> don't bring out the benching wine. We want to drink a little more wine in our meal. We're having a good time. <clears throat> so this is what he said. This is what Rav says. Rav says, Right? And now it's once you basically said, hey, let's go bench again, right? And you said, right, we're going to go drink, right? So uh, you're basically saying that it's not awesome to drink. Once say I'm benching, you're saying my meal is over. So therefore, when you changed your mind, you say, you know, I want to drink again. 
you already had has a chadas, right? You're, 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 not, you're, you're, you can't eat anymore, right? So now when you bring out more wine, you have to make a new bray for your right? Which is, and this is actually the halacha, right? When he says, okay, let's bring out the benchers, that signifies the end of the meal, right? You want to go eat afterwards, that's problematic. You might need a bracha. So that's what he said there. The reason over this, according to Rab, once you say we're going to bench, right? And certainly if you do bench, benching shows that, um, and once, once you, once you, once you bench, right? Or once you say we're going to bench, that ends your meal. So therefore, that's the reason why they required a second bracha on the benching. So that was the tamide de rav. That was what they held. Uh, my time was the reason that's the right? Because that was considered to be a hesachadas, a, uh, a a changing of the mind and saying that we're done eating. And a meimar. They were sitting in the Sudavakalaya. So Amemar made a bracha on every single cup. Umar Zutra, right? You notice they, 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 they made Kiddush. They had cups during the uh, uh, wine during the meal, and then they benched. So he made a bracha, he made bracha every single time, five, five hagafans. Umar Zutra, Baracha Kosa Kama, the Kosa Basra. Zutra only made a bracha on the first cup of Kiddush and on the last cup by benching. And Ravashi, Baruch HaKasakama Basulay Baruch, and Ravashi basically only made a bracha on the first one and no, didn't make any other brachas in the meal and also didn't make a bracha on the Bray Pira uh, or the, the coast when they went ahead and they benched. So who should I hold like? Right, what, what should I do? I, I see three different, three different rabbis and each of you did your own thing. Right? So what, what should I do? So Amemar Amar Nimlach, oh no, me, the reason why I made it every single time was because I kept changing my mind. When, when I had the break pack off in the beginning, I thought, okay, I'm not going to have my wine this meal. And then I said, you know what? I'm going to have it one cup. So he brought out one cup and I made a bug up in there and this is my only cup. And then he changed his mind. He says, you know what? I want to have another one, right? So therefore he required a cup every single time. Umar Zutra, Omar, oh no, cup, the Katami, the Rav. Umar Zutra says, no, I hold the Katami, the Rav, that when you have your meal, the first break pack off covers everything. But once you bench, right? Benching is the end of my meal. So therefore, when I make a bray prayer guffin after the benching, right, it shows that I need a new bracha there. And he argued with Tamid Rav. He held that, no, the bray prayer guffin, the first one, should cover everything. Why? Because when you have yontif that falls out on Sunday, so therefore you have, right, the two kiddush, the Havdal and Kiddush together, Velma Rav and Rav says over there, Yakna, right? And over there you say, Yayin, right? Kiddush, Ner Havdalah. Now, over there, how many how many Berepia Guffins are you making? You're using one Berepia Guffin, right, for the Kiddush, right? And you're also doing it for the Havdalah. However, Velohi, that's not a comparison. Hasam, Iker Daite Mimishtia. Hachala, Iker Daite Mimishtia, right? In the case of when 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 you're benching, right? When you're when, So when you're benching, so that's the end of your meal. And that means I'm no longer eating. So when I are drinking, right? So when I drink afterwards, it's a new drink. But over here, when I make the bracha, right, for 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 havdalah, right, and then for kiddush, right, I don't have a mind. I'm I'm ending a meal, or I'm I, I'm only drinking this, right. So therefore, that's not a good comparison. That's a continuation. That's a berachas mitzvah, and therefore, uh, you can do the 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 one cup, one bray priyagafen for both the kiddush and the havdalah. And kimata lavdule is an out. When, when they came to Abdullah, Sakam Shame, so his servant got up, his his, his, his assistant got up, and he went ahead and he lit a, a torch from a candle. Why did you go ahead? Uh, I understand why, why you had a candle. Why did you go ahead and light a torch? Uh, um, so he said, Shami He says, I don't know that he's the he's my servant. I didn't tell him to do that. I didn't instruct him. He did it on his own. It doesn't make sense. I mean, if he didn't hear somewhere that he should go ahead and light a torch for Havdullah, he wouldn't have done it. So obviously you must have said something. You don't hold to use a torch, right? Uh, two wicks or something uh, is the mitzvah in the is the best way to perform the mitzvah of Havdullah. And Pasach V'yamar, here's why I wish I would have brought my sit but it's fine. Pasach V'yamar, Hamavdil ben Kodesh Lachol, ben Or Lachoshech, ben Yisrael Amin, ben Yom Ashri Lashesh Yisumei Amasa. Right? So he started off, which is what we do. He said he, he, he started the, uh, the, the, the bracha, and then he said, Hamavdil ben Kodesh Lachol, right? That's one, right? The, the separation between Kodesh Lachol, ben Or Lachoshech, light and dark. 
Bein Yisrael Amim, right? The Jewish people in the other nations. Bein Yosher Dishes Masa and Shabbos and the, the six days of the week. So I'm late. Lama Chakuli Hai. Why do you bring all these uh, Lashanis? Vama Rav Yudah Marav. Hamavdu Bein Kolish Lachol. Zohi Brich Havdol Sashel Rav Yudah Nasi. Rav Yudah Nasi used to just say Hamavdu Bein Kolish Lachol, and that was his Avdola. So why did you go on with this, uh, all these Lashanis? Right, one who goes ahead and you want to minimize the amount of, of differences, right? When making Abdullah, don't do less than three. Uh, and if you want to add, right, don't add more than seven. So that was what he said three and seven. That was what he, 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 he uh, that was his Masorah. Some are late. So they asked him, I turn the page. Okay, you said three or seven, right? You did four, right? Some are late. Right? The last one, right? Emma's, he said the last one, right? Uh, we, so we said, right? So the last one is really Right, it's part of the chasima. Now, when you normally they're, they're longer brachas, some brachas with the beginning and the end, right? You start brachat Hashem and you end it off with the brachat Hashem, right? We have some uh, brachas like that. Uh, Alamich is an example. Um, uh, and uh, over here, Hadal is an example. You start with the uh, right. So, over here, um, so really the last part is really part of the chasima, part of the ends. Chasima means like a signature, right? It's part of the end, right? It's part of the end. Right? So therefore, it's not really included in the count. There's only three. And that last one is really part of the ending, right? He, right? One who makes Havdala needs to do very similar to the Hasima, right? To at the end of, uh, of the last bracha. They said very similar. Right? Yes, you are supposed to put something close to the chasima, close to the ending bracha, but it should be similar, the same concept as the first thing that was mentioned the, the, of the psicha, of the opening. Right? So you mentioned something similar to the opening right at the closing. So my benayu, what's not? When you have yontif that falls after Shabbos, the chasima being kodesh le kodesh. Right? We end over there. All right, then Kodesh le Kodesh. All right, so Mandi, I remain on the one who holds that at the end you're supposed to finish off something in the beginning. Right, so if you're supposed to say something from the beginning right before the end, so therefore there is no need to go ahead and mention. Ben Kedusha Shabbos le Kedusha Yantif, because you start off Hamavdo Ben Kolish Lecho Ben Or Lechoshek, right? You start off the, the normal one, the difference between you know Shabbos and the other days, right? You don't mention at all the difference between Shabbos and Yantif, so therefore there is no necessity because you only say something from the beginning, right? By the Chasima. However, Mandi Omer Mein Chasima Son, some of the Chasima Son, but like the, I think the way right the way we hold right that you should say something similar to the ending bracha right before the ending. So by the name, therefore, you should say, since we're being saying Hamavdo ben Kodesh the Kodesh, therefore, right before the Chasima, we say Ben Kedush Shabbos the Kedush Yom Tov Hivdalta, right? Because that saying the difference between the Kedush of Shabbos and Kedush and Yom Tov is similar to Ben Kodesh the Kodesh, and that's the reason why that is mentioned right before the Chasima. All right, we'll stop here uh, at Gufa for tomorrow, Mitzvah Shem. Uh, same time, uh, everyone have a wonderful day, and we will see you tomorrow. <laughs>